welcome back to Sonic Adventure. When I loaded into this screen, Big the Cat said, which character? And you and I both know that we are now on E102 Gamma. That's what that symbol means, Gamma, which I learned from this game, of course. Uh, we are now on E102 Gamma storyline, the final storyline of the six characters available in Sonic Adventure. So we have been doing a really good job getting through these, and thank you so much for experiencing them alongside me so i hope you're doing well welcome back to the video uh, series of videos of sonic adventure and i will see you after the intro intro cutscene Creator, Dr. Robotnik, you're the second of my E100 model machine. E102, codename Gamma. Gamma. That's right, you will now. Just like that, we're given control. It's pretty clear that, and obviously we were able to uh, glean as much from the many cutscenes we've seen with him and Robotnik, but uh, as E-102 Gamma, we are the monster to Robotnik's Frankenstein. And I'm pretty sure this uh, little platform, I can't remember if it was here when we were here as other characters, but either way, we're wedged right between this unnamed Sonic robot and Metal Sonic. The shooting range is through this door. Your big brother, E101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not going to dance as Beta is, but you'll do fine. briefly mentioned as E101 Beta, the previous robot, and <laughs> Gamma's first level is a final egg, and Robotnik is very menacingly explaining that uh, uh, Gamma's gameplay to us. Basically, we hold down the action button, which makes a red laser appear, and any end target that gets caught in that red laser when we let go of the button is shot, it basically he's a moving version of the tornado from the sky chase uh, submissions. And we can also shoot item boxes from very far away as well. And so, it, unlike the other characters, Gamma's time ticks down, and by killing enemies, we make the time that we have to complete the level go up, and unfortunately we and also, we also saw this. Hold on, I do want to show it, though. When we gain momentum as Gamma, he does a mode change. Doesn't seem to be doing it now, though. Where he, he just squats down and moves real fast on two wheels. But this is the shortest level in existence because we're just going to shoot Sonic and be done with it. Oh, we have to do it multiple times. three shots that's two more than I was expecting but there's level C completed and with 40 emblems we get Sonic Drift Racing which is also on the game gear I think I'll have to take a look at that oh it was waiting for me to confirm it to go away poor Gamma's arm was probably getting tired I think we gotta go down here now Your test. If you want to 
stay on board. You must be able to surpass it. So pay attention to what I say. The almighty Ixion is a flying fortress that needs a good crew. Come forth, Beta. I'd like you to meet your older brother, E101. Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other, and the winner serves on my ship. I put my bets on Beta, and I owe you at least a debt. And right off the bat, we have a boss battle with the previous robot that Robotnik made, E101 Beta his rocket and follows us for quite a while but like any boss in this game any character boss it's easy just gotta keep keep attacking him but it is neat that we start off so early and uh, one of the coolest things about this storyline that we'll get into is just how many different robots you end up seeing that the other characters don't Feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the egg carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? Okay, okay. We could always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission. Also particularly like E101 Beta's uh, double uh, cannon arms instead of just like uh, comparing it to Gamma's one gun arm. You'd think that one missile would be better, but clearly Robotnik had some design difficulties when the missile just chases the enemy slowly and then eventually blows up without hitting them. Thankfully the game teleports us right to Station Square, and we are, along with the other robots that look like Gamma, but spray painted different colors, because Robotic ran out of time to design different weapons for them. We are pitted in a competition, well, maybe not a competition, but of, of sorts, to see which robot can go and find Froggy from Big Storyline fast enough. And since we know from Big Storyline, or which one can catch him first, I mean, and since we know Froggy from Big Storyline is uh, has Chaos's tail, his final piece, other than the Chaos Emerald, uh, it makes sense why Robotnik would want it. First level is Emerald Coast, so let's hop right in. Well, I should say our second level, but the first one doesn't really feel like a level, does it? Playing through this, <laughs> and there's the, the abdomen propeller when you go over water, because robots can't function in water, of course. Uh, going through this level as Gamma is exactly the same as going through it as Sonic. 
you know, if Sonic had a gun, which, oh jeez, that makes me think of Shadow the Hedgehog, so maybe I, uh, maybe I shouldn't have made that comment, because I don't want to be thinking about that game, which I think I played for maybe a day, and I, even back then, I had the thought where I'm like, no, this isn't for me, I'll just wait for them to make Sonic Adventure 3. still waiting. It's going to happen one of these days. And there's Froggy in a little bubble. I have a pretty distinct memory of not even realizing that that was Froggy and just thought I, I just thought I killed an enemy over there. Actually, are there hidden goodies here too? Yeah, life. Nice. Which I think is exactly what it was for Sonic too. capture complete. Forty-one emblems. Must determine location. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. I know I said this in the Amy videos, but something about his voice. I just love hearing him talk. The chow singing is really, uh, really something else. I do think it's kind of cute how the singing is just the same audio clip but started at different points so they're just completely uncoordinated. It's kind of cute. be one of them, huh? Did you notice the presence guarding these children? He's a very loving and gentle creature. These little creatures are too vulnerable without its protection. This protection allows them to continue singing in peace. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. It seems his heart is closed off to us all. My true hope is that someday we'll understand each other. This frog's the one you want. Be of 
is the wrong room. And now some type of ray shielding is up on both the hot shelter door and the door where we saw Beta, but that cutscene is really where the the tone of Gamma's storyline changes very dramatically and very quickly. We retrieved Froggy, which is great. Which is it's nice that we only had to play one level to retrieve Froggy when we just played an entire character that had to fish through four or five of them just to catch him and they always just ran away at the end but we caught Froggy and because the other robots claimed to have caught Froggy but didn't uh, Eggman had them immediately destroyed but there's a really surprisingly uh, emotional note where Gamma turns and sees the blue E-series e robot, or E-100 series robot, who looks at him before he just gets immediately vaporized before his eyes, and then to add on to that, he goes into, sorry, I just nudged the, uh, my desk, he goes into the room on the left here and sees what I can only equate to as a robot, Eggman robot body horror being performed on E-101 beta. And now, of course, we have to go talk to Amy. But yeah, it's a it's a very interesting cutscene, and kind of kind of gets you more engaged in how uh, his storyline's going to turn out because we already know so little about it. Something tells me we can't play this game. Hedgehog hammer. You might want to bring a hammer with you. is futile. Give me the bird. Why 
try to think that which is useless to you. So is not confused. Dangerous here. Hurry, we'll be arriving at the Mystic Ruin Phase 2. So, you're not like those other robots, huh? You truly are a good person inside, aren't you? I guess we can be friends then. Take care, okay? Even though we got to see this cutscene from Gamma's perspective, we still don't really, or we aren't really told why he was willing to free Amy, unfortunately. And Amy, AI Amy, is quick about playing this game. She's already through and gone. us to get the jet booster, which is one of these side rooms, I'm sure. We're looking for the ammunition room at the reservoir. Wastewater to be drained is stored here. And as you can see, there is another upgrade in the reservoir, but unfortunately we can't get to it. Oh, something I forgot to bring up. Oh, and Gamma is teleported to Tikal's altar with Chaos in the chow. I love how Tikal talks to him like he's a normal being to be interacted with, and he just looks on with his blank robot eyes. Gamma was not programmed for time travel. Here's the jet booster. Press and hold the jump button and you'll float for a while. Speaking of cute, it's very cute how when Gamma gets this item, he turns his body around and is just like, oh, look at this neat thing I have now. That's really neat. Oh, come on. Thank you, camera. So this works how you would expect it to. We can slow our descent as we fall, and I think it's pretty much infinite until we land. Yeah, Gamma's very jazzed about his new upgrade for Megman. we get to the rear of the ship by taking the, the lift here and we remember what we have to do at the top of it which is fight Sonic which of course is going to be a very harrowing battle that we'll get by just on the skin of our teeth Sonic doesn't even say anything, he's just ready to scrap. Oh no, oh no. Goodbye. Oh, I held on to that too long. <laughs> I keep just interrupting.
you help me? I told you we'd be friends the next time we met. Even Bernie wants the best for you. You must ditch that awful caveman. Amy, come on! doesn't even need to spin his tails to fly. That's amazing. Registration deleted. Due to friends. Must stay. Clearly, there was. Oh, look at this little butterfly. <laughs> Clearly, there was a huge shift in Gamma's personality and character when he met Amy and saw Beta and everything that's happened up to this point. For whatever reason, as he jumps off the air, the uh, a carrier I almost wanted to call it the aircraft carrier, which is also true. There were planes on top of it in Sonic's level in Sky Chase, but or not Sky Chase, uh, Sky Deck. Anyway, there's clearly a big shift in Gamma's character, and for whatever reason, he now sees Robotnik as an enemy in his E series, as his family that he needs to save. And we will see how he plans to do that in the next video. But before we do that, I wanted to, go, because I kept forgetting <laughs> after every cutscene, when every cutscene started, I was like, that's right, I unlocked a new mini game. I gotta play that, which is Sonic Drift. So I'm gonna end the video by playing with this, which is Sonic and his friends hop into their favorite carts and compete in the Chaos or Chows. Now it's Chaos Grand Prix. You must use items and drift techniques to beat your rivals. This should be good. That's a keyboard. I'm, I'm not using that game. Can you show me how to play with the controller? I'll figure it out. And also, yeah, there's a there's a two-player mode, which is very, very cool. I'm not sure if I've ever actually played this game. All right, free run, or no, we'll do the Grand Prix. Grand Prix, as the, uh, as the kids say. Nobody says that. Play as Sonic, Eggman, Tails, or Amy. Why don't we play as Amy? Because I feel bad that uh, she's the only character who had to share her, <laughs> her storyline with another character so far in one video. Round one is Green Hill because there can't be a Sonic game without Green Hill. turn, not the smoothest at all, but we are, oh, we were in first place, and we're going to pass up old man Eggman here. So yeah, this game is literally just Mario Kart. Although obviously there's many, many games, oh jeez, there's many, many games with Racing games from the SNES era. F Zero also comes to mind. And as you can tell, I have played none of them because I am terrible. Even when the game tells me when to turn with signs like this. I am curious what the second level too early on the turn there. How'd we do? <laughs> Sonic, and not surprising. That guy always hogs all the glory in these games, doesn't he? We did get second, though, so that's not too bad. Can we move on to the next stage? Marble. Oh, this is probably Marble, uh, Marble Hill Zone from the original Sonic. 
I think it's called Marble Hill Zone anyway. Oh, I was literally just about to say that doing a little bit better this time. Oh, jeez. They're getting left in the dust now. But of course, Eggman's still in the back. <laughs> I gotta start looking at the map more to figure out Well, that was an alright turn, and then immediately followed by an awful one. Yeah, the bends are very quickly here at the top. It's kind of neat seeing the Marble Hill Zone in the background, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching up to Sonic on this one. Oh, there is like a, a speed boost. I probably should have assumed that. Oh, it's drifting. I'm... That's very silly that I didn't even think there was drifting. I'm using it so well. <laughs> Man, thank goodness I don't have to do a playthrough of this game. What a nightmare that would be. Sonic the Jerk. The third is Spring Yard. Alright, well, I'm not going to play through a full third again, although the background is neat on this one. So as I race and pass Eggman, but not pass Sonic and Tails for the entire uh, <laughs> for the entire race, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye and thank you so much for watching. And we will most likely finish Gamma's storyline in the next one and see what his change of heart was all about. And rest assured that I will probably place him last again, and Eggman will beat me. <laughs> anyway, goodbye.